Hi guys, and welcome to the October edition of my monthly favourites. I want to start off with a little apology about the lateness of this video. Obviously with our holiday during October to Florida, I wasn't able to upload this at the end of the month like I usually do, but here we are, and in a new location nonetheless. This is actually our living room um, downstairs in our house, so enjoy, let me know if you like this setup. But here I am to share some favourites to do with October and... In case you can hear grunting and grumbling, Rolly is in the room with me as well, um, so let's see how we get on, shall we? Obviously, October is the month of Halloween, and I must admit, I am suffering a little bit knowing that Halloween is now over. It's making me quite sad, so a lot of my favourites, I must admit, are quite reminiscent of Halloween. But I'm the type of person who likes to keep Halloween in my heart all year round, so hopefully you will appreciate that. I'm also wearing one of my Halloween jumpers just to, just to keep the spirit of Halloween alive. <laughs> Look at who wanted to be a part of the filming today. Never work with pugs. Are you gonna be a good boy so mommy can get on? I'm gonna start off the October favorites with um, a knitting pattern that I have very, very much enjoyed during October. It's something I've mentioned on the podcast a couple of times already, and that is the I Love You More Than Pumpkin Spice sock pattern by the incredible Cece Ullman. I absolutely love this pattern. I have finished my first sock of this pattern already. I absolutely love it. This yarn that I have used is the Pumpkin Spice Latte colorway um, by Hand Dyed by Kate. And and I love everything about it. I think it is incredible. I love this pattern just because if you're a pumpkin spice fan, it gives you a little kick every time you create one of these little pumpkin shapes with the cabling. And the yarn was just the, um, the cherry on the cake, really. It is genuinely one of my favorite sock patterns that I've ever knitted. And I've already cast on the second one and I'm working on that at the moment. So a huge, huge fan of this pattern. And it just makes me think about how much I love the pumpkin spice latte and how much I miss it now that it's all red cups and Christmas drinks. If like me, you're wanting to keep the thought of Halloween and the spirit of Halloween in your heart all year round, you may also be interested in my other knitting favorite for October. As it was coming to the end of the month, I started searching on Ravelry for Halloween based patterns that I might wanna work on just so that I could have a little bit of that feeling all year round. <laughs> because I'm a bit weird, obviously. But the one pattern that I absolutely adore at the moment and I really, really, really want to cast on is actually called Skeleton Key, which is by the incredible Andre Sue of the Andre Sue Knits podcast. And Andy has actually uploaded this pattern for free. And I think that that's incredible. It's this beautiful color work sweater and it has little skulls and Yes, I would say it's not necessarily 100% Halloween because it's quite subtle, but I like it for that. If I do work on this sweater myself, I think I may steek it and turn it into a cardigan. And I also think that the color scheme I would use would be all blacks and orange and hot pink and purple. And I think it would be amazing. And considering my track record when it comes to color work knitting at the moment, um, if I start it now, I might have it finished by next Halloween. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. So it is a huge, huge favorite of mine for October. In terms of sewing, I really couldn't let the October favorites go by without mentioning one pattern in particular. And for all of my long-term viewers of the podcast, I apologize because you've been hearing me rabbit on and on and on about this pattern for quite some time now. And that is this one by Deer and Doe. It is the Robe Blue A dress. And I now have two versions of this dress in my wardrobe. The first I made for the end of September for my birthday, my foxy lady dress, and then my Halloween dress, which I had finished for our holiday in Florida. And guys, I'm obsessed with this pattern. I would pretty much say this is my staple dress. If I could have this dress in like 50 different patterns and colors, I would wear them all the time. 50s may be a little excessive, but I could, I would definitely just keep wearing these forever and ever and ever. I love them. I'm also developing a bit of a pattern hack to see if I can create a longer sleeve version of this. 
but any hesitation that I had about working with this pattern, which I was a little concerned with at the very, very start of using it, is now completely gone. I love it. You can also use it as a sleeveless dress or as a blouse, and I'm tempted to do both of those. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm very excited to use more Deer and Doe patterns in the future, just because of how much I have completely fallen in love with this dress. So yes, there was never going to be any doubt that this would be the top sewing favourite of October considering how much I absolutely adore this dress. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is actually um, some makeup favourites. Now I know that last month I talked about red lipsticks, in particular some lipsticks that I've really been enjoying using, but as you probably know if you've watched some of my Vlogtober videos and podcasts, whilst I was in Florida I managed to pick up some Kat Von D makeup and I am a huge convert. I am so happy to have these products and to be able to use them and the two that I love more than any thing are the tattoo liner and the everlasting lipstick. Let's talk about the tattoo liner first. As I've said before this is in the colour Trooper so it's just a black liquid liner but it has this brush applicator. And I have really, really been enjoying using this. I've said previously, I think it's a very good starter eyeliner if you like doing cat eyes, because it's very simple to apply, very smooth, and just generally something very enjoyable to use. For that, it is a favourite of mine. However, a slight disclaimer, since I mentioned this on a podcast previously, a couple of my um, podcasting friends, in particular um, Casey and Candice, mentioned that after a little bit of usage, their tattoo liners actually dried up, and they found that very frustrating considering the price point of this, because it's not an inexpensive um, makeup brand, Kat Von D. As yet, I haven't experienced any problems with this, but it's still early days. I'm loving it so far, but obviously, if I find that it doesn't last for a very long amount of time, that would be very frustrating. But watch this space, and I will keep you updated to the longevity of this product, because I love it so much. Fingers crossed it is gonna last, because I really, really want it to. I want it to be my staple eyeliner from now onwards. In terms of the Everlasting Lipstick, I really have nothing bad to say about this product. I love the packaging, it's right up my alley, it's very kind of um, gothic, really just edgy gorgeousness, lots of roses and swirls and tattoo-esque designs and I would expect nothing less from Kat Von D. In terms of application, it can be a little bit tricky because it is almost like a lip stain rather than um, a lipstick but in terms of how long it lasts, I can't fault it. I put this on in the morning, usually um, I put my makeup on around 8am, and a lot of the time I don't get home in the evening till maybe 8pm, maybe later than that, and I never need to reapply this lipstick. It comes in an incredible array of colours. The one that I'm wearing is this one, and it's Vampira, and I love really dark burgundy lipsticks for this time of year. Um, it's pretty much my go-to winter colour. Is something quite dramatic, but she has some really over-the-top colours. She has, you know, blacks and greens, and it really is making me kind of very tempted to try new things as well, which is really exciting. But for for um, a Halloween style colour, as we are talking about October favourites, Vampira is incredible, but I do think it is a colour if you are not afraid of a bold lip colour that could last you pretty much throughout winter. So a huge fan of this makeup. Now I know that in my September favourites I was talking to you a lot about shoes, um, I was talking about brogues, I have actually replaced my poor sad pair of brogues that I shared in last month's favourites because whilst I was on holiday in Florida they developed a hole right on the toe and I thought okay enough is enough, I really can't. I really can't wear these any longer. I have added a couple more pairs of brogues to my collection, but in terms of footwear in general, I wanted to share um, a recent purchase that I made that has just brought me so much joy. Um, I really can't even tell you, and that is actually a pair of boots. Now, as with pretty much all of my shoe purchases, these were purchased from Clarks here in the UK, and what they are is almost a pair of kind of I suppose you'd call them biker boots. They are black suede, they have lacing down the front, they are quite flat just with a really really slight heel at the back and they also have a zip to get in and out of them easily and 
I can't tell you how much I love these boots, you guys. These are very reminiscent of a style of footwear that I wore probably about almost 10 years ago when I was still um, going through my kind of punk stage. <laughs> never, never fully punk, but a punk-esque stage that I had when I was younger. And it's been a long time since I've embraced kind of a flat, sturdy boot. But my goodness, for practicality, these are incredible. We're taking Rolly on two walks a day at the moment. As it's colder, he can walk more because he doesn't overheat, so he's getting heaps of exercise. And these are just the most comfortable dog walking boots in the world. I love them. Plus, pair with a dress and a pair of tights they actually look really stylish and I've had a lot of people comment on them um, and say how much they like them even though they are relatively basic the other thing that I love about having a pair of these boots in my wardrobe now is that all of the hand knit socks that I have been knitting over the past year I'm now wanting to wear them because it's a lot colder and I finally feel that I have the perfect footwear to be able to wear um, these hand knit socks with and that is these boots. They have enough room so that I can wear tights and a nice pair of woolly socks. My feet stay nice and toasty. Um, I just have a little bit of sock peeking over the top which I think looks really really adorable and it means that I'm finally getting wear out of my socks. So these are a huge favourite for October and I couldn't recommend them highly enough. I absolutely love them. I just have one more favourite for October and to be honest this is a little self-indulgent because it's a really really big favourite but I am so obsessed with this right now I can't even tell you and that is Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter, you guys know that I've loved Harry Potter since I started this podcast and all of these videos I've been talking about it but recently there has been a huge resurgence of the Harry Potter love in my heart. Mostly because of our visit to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter when we were in Florida but I am so obsessed now I can't even tell you. I've started re-listening to the audiobooks read by Stephen Fry. I want to start re-watching the films. Obviously Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them comes out soon and we're going to see that this week. I cannot wait. And I'm actually planning mentally, not actually practically yet, another trip to the Warner Brothers Studios tour of Harry Potter, which is in Watford, which is relatively close to me because I want to go there again. Harry Potter is everything and I love it and I had forgotten just how much so that is going to be probably mentioned in quite a lot of podcasts in the future but yes Harry Potter is seeing me through I love it I'm Hufflepuff I'm proud and yeah just get out and if you haven't seen the films watch them if you haven't read the books read them or listen to the Stephen Fry audiobook which is just incredible he is amazing and yeah Harry Potter for the win you guys because Harry Potter is cool. So that was our October favourites. Uh, <laughs> it has been a little interrupted by pugs in terms of filming. He has been a little bit of a of a bugger shall we say but um thank you so much for watching as always please like this video if you've enjoyed it i will be back with you really soon for another podcast and obviously more november favorites very soon but right now from me and from this little monkey we're gonna love you and leave you so we'll see you soon bye <laughs> oh you're terrible